the uncanny sound of the water gently splashing against the deck caused us to speak a little louder. Each of us afraid, but unwilling to admit it, we chatted concerning anything that came to mind. The last thing we desired to converse about was a sea monster believed lurking in the bay. But a dare was a dare, and we were no cowards. Dear Tim and Moby, I need to know all the parts of speech from Nicholas. Well, I don't know if we can cover all the parts of speech in one movie, but I think we can at least show you the basics. Words help us talk about the world, and we divide them into categories based on what they do. A noun describes a person, place, thing, or idea. We're sitting on a hill. A hill's a place, and also a thing. Either way, the word hill is a noun. Mockingbird. Mockingbird is a noun since it describes a thing. I'm a boy. Boy is a noun describing a person. Me. A verb describes an action. Fly is a verb. Throw is a verb. Moby throws rocks into the lake. The rock sinks to the bottom. Sink is also a verb. Adjectives describe or modify nouns. Orange would be an adjective to describe Moby's head. Moby has an orange head. This lake is big. Adverbs describe or modify verbs, and sometimes adjectives are other adverbs. Moby stood up quickly. Quickly is the adverb here, telling us how fast Moby stood up. Moby cries very loudly. Here, the adverb loudly tells us how Moby cries, and the adverb very modifies loudly, intensifying the effect. Oh. Here's a sentence that uses nouns, verbs, adjectives, and adverbs. Seeing the giant hungry monster, Tim and Moby quickly ran home. Guess we should actually do that, huh? School on Wheels presents Reading Comprehension Strategies Reading comprehension strategies are plans or steps that good readers use to understand what they are reading. These strategies come more naturally for some readers than others, but every student can benefit from consciously practicing these strategies when reading during tutoring. There are many strategies readers use when understanding text. In this video, we will cover four important ones making connections, retelling, asking questions, and making predictions. To make these important strategies more concrete, let's look at how we could use them when reading The Three Little Pigs with a Student. Making connections. When good readers make connections, they hook new information from a text to information they already know. When this happens, learning and understanding take place. When you are working with an emerging reader, you can ask them specific questions throughout the book to help them make these connections. Eventually, they will learn to do this automatically. Readers can make connections in three different ways. Text to self. How would you feel if the wolf was trying to get in your house? Has something like this ever happened in your life? Are you like any of the characters in The Three Little Pigs? Text to text. Have you ever read another book with pictures like these? Have you ever read another book about pigs? Does the wolf remind you of any other characters from a different story? Text to world. Have you ever heard of anything like this happening in real life? Have you ever seen someone do this? Have you ever been to a house made of straw, wood, or bricks? At first, it may seem unnatural to interrupt a reader to ask these questions, 
However, you will quickly see how periodically prompting readers with questions will increase reading comprehension. Use your best judgment to know how often to ask questions while a student is reading. Retelling. Retelling occurs when a reader can describe the important parts of a story in his own words. Different students may retell the same story in different ways, and this is fine as long as the reader can identify the main idea and key events in a story. You can help a young reader retell a story by asking questions like, what was the most important thing that happened in the story? Did this story teach us a lesson? What happened next and after that? Having the student draw a picture of the main events of a story in the correct order is another way to promote the strategy. Listening to a reader retell a story will allow you to quickly assess her understanding of the text. Asking questions. Good readers ask lots of questions while they are reading. Sometimes the questions come up because they don't understand something mentioned in the story. Sometimes a question occurs because the trigger in the book piques a reader's curiosity. When reading with a student, it is a good idea to encourage the student to write down any questions that occur in a journal or reader's notebook. Some examples of questions may be things like, I wonder why the wolf wanted to get into the pig's houses. Why did some of the pigs buy straw and wood instead of bricks? What does the word huffed mean? Asking questions while reading promotes reading comprehension because it gives a purpose for reading the book and it can make reading much more interesting. Making predictions. Making predictions about what will happen next in a story can help keep readers interested in the text. It can be fun to check their predictions as the text unfolds. You can help a reader make predictions by asking questions like, is this story fiction or nonfiction, real or pretend for very young students? What do you think will happen next? Do you think the wolf will be a good guy or a bad guy in the end? It can be fun for you and your student to jot down your predictions in a journal. At the end, you can check to see if your predictions were correct. Predicting what will happen next evaluates a student's ability to understand clues from the text to draw conclusions. When most of a student's predictions are correct, or at least reasonable, you know that the reader understands the text. Reading comprehension can be very tricky for struggling readers. However, being deliberate about using these reading strategies can increase both reading comprehension and overall enjoyment of reading. The more a student practices, the more she will be able to use these strategies automatically, almost without thinking about them. This will, in turn, lead to a better understanding of all school subjects and areas of study. Happy reading!